hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so guys let's talk about sndl it's been about a week since i have talked to this and i want to i want to go uh, through my perspective of what i highlighted in the last earning call that was covered i want to talk about legislation that potentially what could happen the catalyst if any they are coming up for this and then we need to talk about reverse stock split which could be on about july uh, 15th i want to tell you why i pick up the date and let's get straight so if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell hit the thumbs up button uh, to the 38 people that give me thumbs up uh, on the last SNDL, VL, SNDL video so guys I think we have a good news we have only got two days until we have an earning coming up I wanted to make sure that you know uh, you know that uh, this was an opportunity to take it if it uh, uh, you wanted to take it and if you were looking to exit your position just wait a day or two more uh, two more days because people were trapped out in this area right here uh, this has been painful so you you either once you know once you knew that uh, this was gonna be a postponed you said that stop loss and you knew uh, there was a blackout period you were like look i'm not coming back in until there's a peak fear uh, this was your opportunity to take that 20 percent game and and uh, it it wasn't that uh, gener generous but the entire market has really just been getting plumped lately now you can see this volume spike here we had a volume spike back here in a volume spike here as uh, you can see that contribute to the spice uh, now now in between and when the volume starts to die you can see as it's uh, starting to do now you know we get downward pressure and things are not looking good from a macro economic standpoint i mean there's a just a bad news coming out consistently the fed is going to uh, fed is going to offload the balance sheet june i mean this company is going to be reverse stock flitting i mean that uh, exact pretty much announced this and not this uh, last earning call that just happened but then one previous to this and uh, and uh, even uh, even though there hasn't been an officially an official announcement he might as well have but uh, let's take a look at the earning call transcript because i want to show you uh, something that have be that have me concerned I don't know that uh, this went all that well all right I am going to go through this assuming that everyone listened to the Q1 2022 earnings call and wanted to talk about uh, a few things that really stood out to me number one the the acquisition having occurred and the guidance that we were expecting had no impact on the share price it's look uh, it looks like uh, analyst actually needed to needed to see numbers down on a uh, on paper q2 there is so much manipulation happening i mean how does this not give us uh, some kind of a bump in the share price this was uh, just pretty surprising that there was a positive response on gross margin improvement on our operations higher margin higher quality I mean Jack was pretty excited about matching this up against anyone uh, in the market and I think I know why the market did not respond positively and we'll talk about that is that in just a moment now e-commerce directed uh, consumer strategy private label meaning uh, meaning they can take their products put it in a it uh, in a can and then anybody can act like it's their own put their own brand on it so private level opportunities there that uh, uh, they are looking into and it looks like uh, they are gonna have a get uh, gonna have a get together in june for their circle of it and i don't know i don't know if this is a catalyst where there will be some uh, e-commerce and direct consumer strategy that's uh, come out of this that uh, we get notified about but one thing that we can celebrate is uh, 
this this nova values bugs banner that has been doing extremely well and if you listen to their call they have room to grow the plan is on opening more stores i believe it was 9 to 12 i did a video on this previously and what i didn't hear about uh, in this call was the growth growth for uh, spiritually so i am not sure what's happening there with a uh, with that and i would assume that the last thing that jack said was uh, it uh, he's he's not looking to aggressively grow uh, that portion of now this investment portion was not impressive to me now uh, 17.7 million uh, on marketable securities this was an investment loss so these little number here do not get uh, do not get cried away by looking uh, at uh, 1 million dollar or whatever they tried to put on a slide you want to know for the uh, you want to know what the taco was from investment so so they went to explain this and uh, analyst asked in the in the q and uh, q and a portion about village farms in international i thought uh, that was really interesting i believe this is a taker symbol vff you should watch uh, this one giving rising interest rates geopolitical turmoil the industry over supply price comparison price comparisons saturation in the market and equity valuation having been under extreme pressure i mean this is a whole uh, i mean uh, this is all hot right i mean this is all bad news right but given the growth pers- perspective of this stock right you want to put your money into a stock that you believe is going to grow uh, because you want money to grow this is none of uh none of this uh, is good news in the call is not going to sound great for the canadian market who is trying to stabilize to dwindle uh, down and and it looks like uh, it's a vastly gonna look different over the uh, next 12 to 24 months so there's no potential short squeeze is just flat is going slide uh, sideways and uh, it's a it's a staying really low at this price and a reverse stock would even uh, even though we we have got uh, july until something like uh, that happen with seeing the indices recovered like uh, like they they did today and uh, it uh, it did not even move this price up bit it uh, it just leaves me concerned with that dark bull action now what are the what are uh, uh, other people saying as far as analyst uh, now motley fool did an article that i can't uh, i can't of appreciated it had three uh, red flag or two red flags uh, and one green flags or the, or something like that some doubts struggling to increase its uh, its sale of its uh, high value flower products and and uh, then its investment in the sun screen banquet was also struggling so we just we, uh, we just we know that uh, they have to go, they have to get a market share this is uh it working and they have acquired uh, alcona which is which has been a business operating was this of this is a failed liquor business i want to take a look at that so let's go straight into these slides with some uh, some doll court they have got their revenue numbers estimate of for 2022 spelled out uh, right uh, right uh, right here this is the estimated this is the actual column for 2021 and if you will if you will notice something we know we only made about 56 million dollars in 2021 and our cost was 63 million so this is a flood number and down here it talks about how our car was added to this number to make it look better so that what really concern me that a million and million of this volume 41 million volume of this is trading just trying to control the price and and they know uh, what they are doing they know exactly uh, where they want to keep this price and we don't have any control over it right now those are my thoughts be sure to subscribe to channel and leave the video with big thumb i hope you found something useful